So I've been thinking lately, uh, I've been out here in the Pacific Northwest for two and a half years, and I have made um, some friends, but I still feel like it's a challenge to make uh, like really, I don't know, best friends, I guess what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, um, just a closer relationship and with, um, someone maybe around my age in their, you know, thirties and they don't have to have kids or anything like that, but just maybe women around my age. And so I was thinking about this recently cause I'm like, I don't know if it's, it's, I think it's easier to blame the Seattle freeze. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically um, Seattle's kind of gotten a bad rep when it comes to, um, I guess, the warmth that, or the, I don't know, the cordialness. I can't think of the right word, but basically people can be kind of standoffish out here. And not only is the reputation people are standoffish, they can be flaky as well. Like, Sadly enough, I have experienced that in different types of um, events in my life, but um, I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it's just moving to a new city and just the challenge of making new friends in general. I don't know. I think some people have it easier. They can make friends a lot easier. It takes me a lot longer. Um, and then I don't know if it's just I'm just too much of an introvert because I don't really enjoy going out. Well, it's not true. I like going out. I just don't, um, I don't know. I guess I don't like going out all the time. And my mood is, my mood of where they're going out is dependent on a lot of things like the weather and whether parking is going to be terrible wherever I'm going. And I know that sounds terrible, but that's just me. Like sometimes I feel like it's more of a pain in the ass to go out than, than it's worth. So, um, I'm working on that. I'm, I'm trying to make more of a conscious effort to go out despite my dread of those things. Um, so I don't know, like, cause I, I just, a part of me is just like, I would love to just have like a sisterhood of, of uh, female friends that I can like hang out with all the time. My best friends are in Ohio that I could do that with, um, who I'm still in, in close contact with. But the thing is they live thousands of miles away. So it's not so easy to hang out. And again, I lived in Ohio my whole life, so it took me a long time to get those relationships. So that's why it's kind of, I don't know, frustrating is the right word, but um, I would love to, sorry, I was looking to see if my husband was coming home. Um, I don't know really how to like rectify this, if I even can. I don't know, maybe I'm just looking the wrong place for friends. I mean, I have, I do have good friends. I have, um, I have, through here, I've met some, uh, during, through my church, I've met some really great people. And I think that works because I think church people are always looking for a sense of community. So I think it's easier to like have people, um, want to, want to get together for things. I think sometimes, I think that's the most, I think that's one of the most first, I don't know, like, I don't know why people do this. I can't say this is a Pacific Northwest thing because I had this in Ohio too, but I've, I've had people be really into like plans that I'm going to make or you know into hanging out and then like like clockwork at the last minute they're like oh I can't do it for whatever reason it is and it's kind of after a while it gets kind of like annoying and then I don't invite them out anymore um so flakiness is not something that's new like to the Pacific Northwest and I and I guess sometimes I'm unforgiving when it comes to that issue because I think I'm just don't have time for flaky people. Like if you just don't want to hang out, just simply tell me you don't want to hang out. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I would actually appreciate it if you were just honest and just like, no, I'm not going to do that. And then like, oh, that sounds great. And then either don't show up or cancel the last minute. That's that irritates me to no end. Um, and I don't know, like, and I, I mean, the th I think it is a part of a culture thing. Cause out here it's like, I, like I live in a fairly nice neighborhood um, and no one says anything. Like, I don't know my neighbors at all because no one comes out to like 
talk. Like, I'm not saying you have to, like, be besties with your neighbors, but I very rarely see my neighbors. And that is so weird because it's just, we live literally, like, there's not much space in between houses. And no one, like, says anything. And it's just, I don't know, it's just really odd sometimes. I just feel like you live next door to, like, you can live next door to someone for years and they just will say, they're nice, they'll say hi and bye, but they just have generally no interest in, like, getting to know you. Um, and I've had, I've had friends out here, like I had a whole baby out here and there are friends who have yet to come and visit me, which again, I'm not saying you have to like come and like fawn over my baby, but I just, I don't know. As a, if I had, if I had a friend who had a baby, I would like make sure that they're okay. Like, I don't know. Like I have friends who have, she's almost six months old and they have never stopped by. And I just, I'm like, that's really, really weird to me, but. Anyways, I'm trying to sort some things out because I'm like, where can I meet? I think it's easier, to be fair, um, this time of year kind of sucks to meet people because it's cold and no one wants to go outside. And I am the same way. Like, I don't want to be outside. Um, But I don't know. Um, So maybe if someone lives in the Pacific Northwest and they can maybe explain this to me, maybe it's because I do feel like it's kind of weird some of the people's attitudes towards like meeting new people it's kind of weird but um I can't blame that specifically on the Seattle freeze because like I said there's a lot of people who um I will say my Ohio friends definitely would have checked in on me on my baby but some people is like you can go months as if nothing happened and they won't check on you sorry for that that's my daughter in the background I should probably go now because she's gonna turn up and this video is gonna get annoying all right thanks bye